covering Kendall County tonight. Scientists with UTSA are taking a closer look at hormone levels in our waterways, which could be bad for our wildlife. News 4's Joe Galley reports from Bernie tonight on what's being found in water that eventually becomes your drinking water. Let me give you an idea of some of the chemicals I had in my system today, namely caffeine and some ibuprofen. Now, some of that stayed in my body and some of it left. Eventually went through wastewater treatment and then some of it could end up right here into this fresh water. These researchers are testing for a growing problem in American waterways, rising levels of estrogen. If they're high enough and persistent enough, uh, sometimes male fish uh, can produce eggs um, or they can d disrupt the reproductive systems of, of fish. Since this research began a few months back, the levels of estrogen here in Cibolo Creek are low, but that can change. As more development happens in the area, more chemicals and potentially more hormones can get into the water. This whole area is growing so fast, so quickly. For us to be more environmentally aware of what's going on around us is just critical today. This water eventually goes into the Edwards and Trinity aquifers and becomes drinking water for millions of people. We hope that the agencies or regulatory uh, parties with the RCO know more about the aquifer, so that would also help with the eventually the management of the water resources here. You can help keep hormones and other chemicals out of the waterways by properly disposing medication and never pour pills down a drain. Researchers tell me that they haven't found anything harmful in this waterway, but there's a chance that it could show up, which is why they need to continually do this research. Reporting in Bernie, I'm Joe Galley.